Our top story at six, Georgia Senator John Ossoff releasing horrific details of foster care cases in a report titled Abuse and Neglect of Children in Georgia's Foster Care System after more than a year of research. Several of them happening right here in the Coastal Empire. WSAV's Christine Qualey spoke with some of those directly involved in those cases. She joins us now to explain what this all means. Yes, Ben, this report from Senator Ossoff is nothing short of scathing, detailing a pattern of negligence and mismanagement by Georgia's Department of Children and Family Services. The message in it is clear and it's urgent. Children in Georgia are dying and it's going to keep happening if nothing changes. Rachel Aldridge suffered a tragedy that no mother should ever have to face. Brooklyn died on March 6, 2018. The cause of death was blunt force trauma to the back of the head and the girlfriend was convicted of murder in Brooklyn. Oh Jesus Christ. Now, instead of sending her daughter Brooklyn off for the first day of school or teaching her how to ride a bike, the only time Rachel sees her daughter is when she visits her grave. All they have to do is care a little bit about her, which is crazy. All they could have just gave her back to me. I never lost my rights as a, as a parent. A situation that, when you look at the facts, was simply avoidable. Defects was integral in giving custody of Brooklyn to two people that had outstanding felony meth distribution charges, which is incredible. The woman who uh, was her caregiver, Amanda Coleman, was later convicted of her murder, was actively taking meth, and that had been reported to Defects. And sadly, Rachel isn't the only person whose story ends with the worst possible outcome. Even when children don't die, Ossoff's report lays out in detail several cases in which children endured circumstances that scarred them for life. Defects kept telling my doctors to do up my dosage because I was not behaving. I was overmedicated to the point of feeling overtired and sluggish. It hurt to walk. 410. That's the number of children that were sex trafficked in Georgia between 2018 and 2022 while in defects care. And some experts say that number could actually be much higher. Typically we'll hear one in 10 children in the United States in general will be sexually abused before they reach the age of 18. It sounds like a lot, but it might be an un underestimate because of the low disclosure rate. There is a higher, much higher percentage of children in foster care who have been trafficked than in the non-foster care population. Still, despite all of the documented incidents of institutions who are meant to protect these victims failing them, they all have the same wish to see change. What's important to remember here is that even the title of this report mentions that it's a case study and experts tell me the systemic failures in Georgia are just an example of a larger problem throughout the entire country. And if you would like to view the full report, you can go to WSAV.com slash Georgia Foster Care. Christine Qualey, WSAV News 3 on your side.